I'm so excited to the main roster character. Yes, our time has come at last. They say we were planned for MK11, but that did not work out. I still hate how I died in that game. I can't wait to see what cool gameplay we get in MK1. Hope I get a new attack. Wait, what is happening? I do not know. Brother, help me. Stop. Do not take my brother away. No, 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 no. By the Elder Gods. Why does NRS hate us so much? We are fan favorites. No, 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 no. Zero one, zero one, one, zero, zero one. Looks like a new secret for Cyrax and Sector has just been revealed. So we're gonna talk about it, have some fun theory discussions, and also look at what this news implies about the future of Mortal Kombat 1. But then, on top of that, it turns out Mortal Kombat 1 has something interesting planned for April Fools and the 4th of July, so we're gonna talk about that too. Because another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. I'm covering it all the time on this channel, even if my nose is really stuffy and I sound funny. What can I say? The grind never stops. So if you you want to stay up to date then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss any future videos and without any further ado let's get started keep in mind today's video is sponsored by gamer stuff so i'm giving away two gift cards for free at random points during this video i'm just gonna flash the codes on screen the first person to see those codes and redeem them online gets the reward so make sure to keep watching and keep your eyes posted for those codes now it's time for the news a sector and cyrax news revealed and also april fools and fourth of july stuff let's look at it right now now. A very big shout out to Interloco, one of the best data miners in the Mortal Kombat community. He's been featured on this channel multiple times. His YouTube channel is awesome, and he also posts updates on Twitter all the time as well. So let's head over to his Twitter account and just check this out. MK1 data mine, small pieces of information I found. There will be modifiers on April Fool's Day, a cat, and a 4th of July modifier, smoke bomb. Okay, so already let's pause. Why is there a cat for April Fool's Day? Is it going to be like Stephanie Brownback's cat? Or is it going to be like a black cat because they bring bad luck? And April Fool's is of course a prank day. Is that what's happening? Why is it going to be a cat? No matter what the case may be, I'm oddly excited because keep in mind, April Fool's Day is right around the corner. We're already approaching the end of March, which is actually when Jeanette Cage becomes fully playable. And then right after that, we're going to get April Fool's Day. So I'm kind of excited, bizarrely enough. Once again, I don't get why it's a cat but let's keep reading. On 4th of July, we get a smoke bomb. Once again, I'm a bit confused unless this smoke bomb has like fireworks colors or fireworks effects of some kind. Otherwise, I don't see the correlation between fireworks and smoke. Well, actually, fireworks do leave a bunch of smoke behind, especially when the big finale is over, so I kind of get that part, but like, why not Lee Mei? She already fights with fireworks. Doesn't that make more sense? I mean, for Pete's sake, even her fatality is a literal firework explosion. So why not just do Lee Mei? Once again, I'm intrigued. I'm wondering what this means. I'm bizarrely excited. And as you all know, I love making these videos interactive. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What the heck do you think is going on with these holiday modifiers? Why is there a cat on April Fool's Day? And why is Smoke doing bombs on the 4th of July? What's going on there? And don't forget, like I keep saying in every single video, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. Because now finally, it's time for the bombshell, the revelation about Sector and Cyrax in Mortal Kombat 1. An old sound file has character names for Cyrax and Sector as both regular characters and cameo fighters. So at least during the early stages, both were planned as main roster characters too. Yeah, how crazy is that? At one point in time, Netherrealm did want to have Sector and Cyrax as main roster characters. And if I'm being honest with you, that's what I would have done. There are certain characters in Mortal Kombat that I believe should always be on the roster by default, and two of those characters are the cyborgs, Sector and Cyrax. And also Cabal. Why is Cabal not in every single Mortal Kombat game? Noob Cybot 2, you get my point. There's some characters that are just too popular in the Mortal Kombat fandom to ever miss out on a video game. Yet for some reason, time and time again, they either become DLC or they miss out on the game entirely. And that is not 
Justice, every Mortal Kombat game should have Sector and Cyrax by default. But with this new information about Sector and Cyrax, some questions were raised. Like for example, were Cyrax and Sector always meant to be on the main roster, but they got pushed back to DLC? Don't forget, this happened with Ermac and Quan Chi. Both these characters show up in story mode, and you can even fight them as NPCs, however, their attacks are completely different and actually copy and pasted from attacks in Mortal Kombat 11. Which means it's very, very likely that Netherrealm did not have time to finish these characters, the Mortal Kombat 1 game overall was definitely rushed, and as a result, Ermac and Quan Chi were pushed to DLC and added to the combat pack. And could this be the exact same situation with Sector and Cyrax? In my personal opinion, I don't think so mainly because neither one of these characters show up in story mode at all, they're not in any of the cutscenes, even as background characters, and until you see Sub-Zero's arcade ladder ending, the characters aren't even mentioned by name. And as a result, I don't think Sector and Cyrax have the same situation as Ermac and Quan Chi. Now that being said, if we do go back far enough, like we're talking the concept and drafting phase, when the voice dialogue and stuff like that was being recorded, I do think at that point in time, Cyrax and Sector were going to be in the main game, but that was very early on in the game's development. Because for anyone not aware, don't forget that the writing phase of a Mortal Kombat game ends way before a lot of other stuff even begins in the production pipeline. And as a result, if Sector and Cyrax aren't anywhere in the script for Mortal Kombat 1, then the decision to leave them out of the main roster was made very early on, before most of the gameplay stuff even begun. Or at least that's what I think, I've spent some time in the game industry, so I kinda have an idea of how these things work. The production pipeline and whatnot, but feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And also, if you are a big fan of Sector and Cyrax, please do not lose hope, because I definitely do think they're going to be added to the game at some point in time as DLC. Because don't forget, the writers at Netherrealm Studios did say the arcade ladder endings are canon, which means that Bihan has begun production of the Cyberlin Quay, and in fact, he even mentioned Sector by name. That's not him though, this character is actually not Sector, Sector. A lot of players, myself included, thought he was Sector, but it turns out no, that's just a random Lin Kuei member. But even so, a story mode expansion for Mortal Kombat 1 has been confirmed, very similar to how Mortal Kombat 11 got an Aftermath story expansion. And because we know the Cyber Lin Kuei is canon, it's very likely we're going to see Sector and Cyrax in this story mode expansion, and at least one of them is going to be a DLC character. It definitely has to happen. If I was a gambling man, I definitely would bet money that one of them is going to be a DLC character. I really hope that both of them make it in, and I absolutely do not want them to be NPC opponents and that's it, like Ermac and Quan Chi were in the first story mode. For me personally, that's the worst case scenario. Don't get me wrong, it would still be cool to see their redesigns, I want to see their new costumes, are they going to be completely cyberized, or is it going to be more like Iron Man armor this time around, where they wear the suit but it's not actually welded to their body, or or is it going to be somewhere in the middle, where they're still mostly human, but they have some cybernetic enhancements on their body? All these questions and theories keep buzzing around in my mind and just get me more and more excited to finally see Sector and Cyrax in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm still very upset they were never playable in Mortal Kombat 11, because I definitely do think that was the plan, but for whatever reason, Mortal Kombat 11 got cut short. And as a result, the Mortal Kombat fanbase is overdue for some awesome cyborg action and I can't wait to see it. But with all that being said, I want to address an elephant in the room. There are some theories and rumors out there, some leaks that haven't been confirmed, which say that Cyrax is actually gonna be a woman this time around. And this information has the fan base a little bit split. So real quick, I wanna share my opinion. I really don't care either way, mainly because Mortal Kombat 1 is the new era, and also people keep saying it's gonna kill the whole series. So if the series does die, then for just one game, we can have Lady Cyrax. I don't really care. If this really is gonna be the final Mortal Kombat game, which I don't think it will be, but if it is, then just make it as weird, quirky, and fun as you possibly can. I'm completely on board. If the ship's gonna sink, then just make it a really interesting ship, I guess. I'm not the best when it comes to metaphors, but thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It helps my channel out a ton. Once again, I apologize for my voice. I ran out of Mucinex, and so I'm stuffed up, and I sound kinda goofy. I apologize. Apologize. But even so, don't forget to keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.